journalists know that there's some things you don't write about and you don't talk about because you'll lose your job. And that's where the control is. And that's why they pay anchormen like Dan Rather two million dollars a year. Because he doesn't question them. He knows that if he goes against them, he's going to lose two million dollars a year. Do you think a man who looks pretty and sits in front of the TV camera for the six o'clock news is worth two million dollars a year? No way. I don't care how long he works and I don't care what he does. There is no job worth two million dollars a year. That's why they pay athletes these fantastic salaries. I was listening to radio the other day. They just contracted to pay one one player on one team of six million dollars. And why is that? It's the Roman circus. What does the emperor do when the people become rescued? And when the people are asking questions, and when the people don't like the policies of the emperor, he sends them to the circus. He creates a circus. He builds a giant coliseum. And he begins to throw the Christians to the lions. And he has great chariot races and football games and basketball games, all to keep the idiots preoccupied with things that don't mean anything in the scheme of the entire world. So that they don't have the time to learn what the truth is. So they don't ever get smart enough to learn how they're being manipulated. So they don't ever question the emperor. That's why they pay a player on a football team or a baseball team a million or two million or three million dollars a year. It is the Roman circus. I know men who don't know anything in the world except who plays third base for the Mets. And they think that's a great accomplishment. And they meet and pat each other on the back and bond and go have cocktails and talk about what this guy that plays third base for the Mets did in last night's game. Okay? By going out and doing something for the world. Mm -hmm. Not by taking people's minds away from the emperor. It's a game. Football's a game. Football to the left, and 150 of the most powerful men and women in the world can meet in secret in baden baden Germany and plot the fate of billions. And nobody even cares about it. But six football players go to lunch together, and it's in the headlines across the country. You have a reflection of the society in which that exists. And it is a sick, sick society that is doomed to self-destruction. <laughs>